This past July, Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon launched his Decarbonizing the West as his 2024 WGA Chair Initiative. This effort dedicated to exploring how decarbonization strategies, including carbon capture, utilization, and storage and technologies, direct air capture, and natural sequestration can position Western states as leaders in innovation and reduce carbon emissions. Throughout the next several months, WGA will convene experts and thought leaders to examine various aspects of decarbonization, including natural carbon sequestration and management approaches for agriculture, forests, and rangelands. Initiative participants will help assess significant opportunities to barriers for these technologies and will help generate policy recommendations that will lead and aid into the advancing of these technologies throughout the West. This initiative is a collaborative effort supported by other governors throughout the region who will be hosting additional workshops in their states. We look forward to these future workshops hosted by Governor, Colorado Governor Jared Polis and Oregon Governor Tina Kotek, which will host the final workshop in March 2024. I encourage you all to stay engaged in the work of this initiative by attending or virtually participating in these subsequent workshops. In addition to the workshops, WGA will conduct a thorough stakeholder engagement process through surveys and webinars to learn from stakeholder experiences to identify best practices. These efforts build towards the development of policy recommendations that can help states and the federal government facilitate and incentivize carbon reduction and removal and identify strategies to scale up these efforts across the West. The initiative's findings and recommendations will be compiled into a report which will inform the development of Western government, Governor's policy and WGA's future advocacy work on this topic. WGA will then publish this report next summer in conjunction with the WGA 2024 annual meeting taking place in Olympic Valley, California, June 10th through 12th, so make sure it's on your calendars. Chair initiatives extend beyond stakeholder engagement and information sharing, and the knowledge garnered from these initiatives is used to develop meaningful and lasting outcomes that will guide the West for years to come. And Gar Governor Gordon's Decarbonizing the West initiative is no exception. Today, the topic of decarbonization and carbon removal, both in industrial and land management context, is becoming a priority. With states, the federal government, NGOs, and private companies all beginning to engage on, this, on all aspects of this issue, its initiative is incredibly timely and important. I want to thank Governor Gordon for his leadership on this issue, and once again, thank you for your attendance today and for your support of Western Governors and the Decarbonizing the West Initiative. And before we dive into the roundtable discussions, it is my honor to introduce our host of the Boise Workshop, Idaho Governor Brad Little. As WGA Chair in 2022, Governor Little led the Working Lands, Working Communities Initiative, focusing on issues such as active forest management strategies to enhance wildlife ha habitats, fortify forest health, and bolster rural economies. Today we look at many of these issues through the lens of decarbonization. Governor Little's leadership has helped advance these issues for the betterment of all Western states. His commitment and leadership to continue to represent the very best of WGA's bipartisan mission and because of that, I am thrilled and honored to introduce the 33rd governor of the great state of Idaho, Governor Brad Little. So Jack, <coughs> oh, I was gonna move that, that uh, microphone so I didn't keep shutting it off like you did, but uh, I see I see they got it welded down, so I can't move it. So, well, thank you. Uh, Jack and I were just talking. This is the first time he and I've been together in Idaho where we had to wear neckties. So, uh, we prefer the other uh, uh, venues where we met. Jack uh, came last year our governor's trail ride, which my predecessor started when he was in Congress, and we've continued. And uh, uh, Jack signed up. He doesn't fall off of his horse as much as his predecessor did, so. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, Jack talked about uh, Governor Gordon's uh, initiative and, and how it ties with mine, and for that matter, uh, the predecessors before that. Or uh, uh, the last one, which was uh, Jared Polis's, which is about uh, geothermal, which we have the meeting right next door uh, a year ago, Troy? Something like that. Uh, a, a year ago. So there's kind of a common theme. I'm going off script. Uh, and I was telling Jack that we had a, a meeting about a month, month and a half ago, Jamie, and we were mainly with utility companies. We're talking about 
you know, what's taking place in the West uh, with these energy corridors and fire starting or subsequent actions and, and what that's going to cost all the ratepayers in the West uh, and, and what we do to solve it. There's a common thread in all of these, and that's uh, we've got to do a we, we have to recognize what's taken place in our ecosystem, and then we've got to manage for it. In, in this particular initiative, uh, and, and, and for this conference, uh, decarbonization strategies include uh, carbon capture, utilization, storage, direct air capture, and national se natural sequestration that will put Western states at the forefront of innovation to affect uh, the effects of carbon emissions. Today and tomorrow, you're going to hear about agricultural practices, both forest and rangeland management, the use of mass timber, and uh, natural solutions to carbon management. Natural sequestration is a critical component of decarbonization efforts. Healthy forests, soils, and rainland, rangelands can sequester enormous amounts of carbon. However, when those resources are poorly managed, the opposite can be true particularly in the field of, of silviculture and forests. In, in 2022, Idaho's carbon emissions from wildfires exceeded our annual full-year uh, emissions from industrial resources and transportation. Responsible land management is critical for, carbon, for the carbon equ equ uh, equation, improving forest and rangeland health and supporting active management of these resources is essential. Decarbonization is also creating new opportunities for agriculture producers for whom carbon capture and sequestration can generate additional revenue while, emission, while reducing emissions. You'll be hearing more about how Idaho's producers are capitalizing on biogas recovery this afternoon. And finally, uh, we have representatives uh, from the Idaho National Lab, INL's research through Integrated Energy Systems Program is critical to advancing decarbonization as we look forward to learning uh, more about it today. Thanks for everybody for joining us in person. I'm grateful to all the workshop panelists as they share their expertise. I also want to reiterate Jack's thanks to Tri-State Generation and Transmission Associates, Net Power, J.P. Morgan Chase, the Walton Family Foundation, Google Energy, Basin Electric Power Cooperative, and the Nash Idaho National Lab. Without their support, these conferences would not be possible. I look forward to the conversations the next couple of days and the ultimate recommendations from Governor Gordon's initiative. Thank you very much.